This is Map Musings. Today we're going to check out a Japanese map of Europe, some highly detailed panoramic maps of Canadian cities, a map of the Catholic Church diocese, and the best-selling vehicles by state. Hong Kong, local maps, regional maps, international maps, nonsensical maps. You're tuned into Map Musings. I'm the Muser, and these are the maps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you. Well, I hope you're hungry because this map shows us the per capita rate of fast food restaurants by state. So the state with the most fast food restaurants per capita is Alabama, while the state with the least is Vermont. Now, population figures obviously make a huge difference here. For example, the city of New York has a ton of people, and it skews the results for the entire state. Also provided with this map is a graph, and it shows us that New York City actually has the least fast food restaurants per capita, while the city with the most is Orlando, Florida, probably due to Disney World. This map is from 1924, and it's made by the Japanese. It's a Japanese map of Europe. You can see they also have the time zones for each country, as well as various images representing each country. This was made before World War II, so I'm a little curious what that skull in Germany means. Hmm. This is more or less a joke map, but it's still pretty interesting and kind of fun. It tells us English speakers how to pronounce capital city names as the locals would say them. So, London is easy, it's London. Beneath that we see Paris, it's Paris. Spain is Madrid. Helsinki, Finland is Helsinki. Easy. Beneath that, Tallinn. Riga, Vilnius. Instead of Vienna, Austria, it's Vienne. Bucharest is Bucharest. So, just having a little bit of fun here. This map of Latvia is showing us every single castle, manor, palace, or fortification within the country. And as you can see, there are a ton. Not a whole lot to say, but this is the railway network in Germany. That cluster of railway networks to the west of the country is the major industrial hub of Cologne, Dusseldorf, Essen, and Dortmund. That is really where the Industrial Revolution began in Germany, hence the massive amount of railways. And of course the railway networks get more dense in city areas. You can see Berlin to the east and Munich to the south. This is showing us the 2021 unemployment rate through districts in Europe. We thought unemployment was high in Italy, well look at parts of Greece. Or parts of Eastern Europe, Spain, Portugal. Parts of Spain, over 20% of the population is unemployed. The very best parts of Spain still have over 10% unemployment. And even Ireland is really struggling with unemployment. This map shows us what Canada's 36 million people would look like divided in the United States. Each part of this map is where 36 million people live in the United States. So all of Canada's population would fit in this space. Or this space. Or this space. Cool. This shows us the regression of malaria around the world. It was most prevalent prior to 1900, and now as of 2002, it is at its lowest point ever. The purple shows the areas where malaria still exists. It has been eradicated from Europe, and has been eradicated from the United States and Canada as well, though in some areas it existed up until the 1940s. In parts of Europe it looks like it existed up until the 1970s as well. Malaria is commonly spread through mosquitoes. This map shows us every single US county where the life expectancy is over the age of 80. This shows us the historical and present-day distribution of wolves in North America. Wolves have pretty much been wiped off the face of the United States, though they are re-emerging in certain areas. In some cases, they are being reintroduced into the ecosystems, such as at Yellowstone National Park or in the Cascades of Washington State. What we have here is an incredibly detailed map of Halifax, Nova Scotia from 1875. 
At the time of the making of this panoramic map, Halifax would be experiencing its biggest growth period in history. It would have about 30,000 people at this time, but as you can see, the waterfront was ultra busy with ships. That hill there is Citadel Hill, which was used during the American Revolutionary War by the British. Halifax was used by the British as a staging area to send troops down to the 13 colonies. This is a beautiful image of the town of Sherbrooke, Quebec, from 1881. At this time, the population would be about 12,000 people. I really like this map, and all the buildings and details along the Corde de Zelle River is breathtaking. It's really cool. It's so close to bringing you back in time, like you're really there. You can also see at this point in time, industrialization has reached the town. There is a train yard along the riverfront. This building in the center is a Catholic church, and then over here is a large wool mill. It's a really cool looking building that sadly no longer exists fully today. Parts of it do exist, but not the full classic old building. This is showing us the United States by counties, and it's showing us in each state where 50% of the population lives. So let's use New Mexico as an example here. 50% of New Mexico's population lives in the counties of Los Alamos, Sandoval, Santa Fe, Bernalillo, and Valencia, all seen here marked in red. Maybe even more extreme is the example of Arizona, where 50% of the population lives in one single county, Maricopa County. Same with Nevada, where 50% of the population all live within Clark County. Now, some states are much more uniform in their population distribution, so you see a lot more counties having to be colored red to make up 50% of the population. North Dakota is a little interesting. With the exception of Grand Forks and Steel County, every single county that's reddened is along Interstate 94. So the majority of North Dakota's population is along Interstate 94. For New York State, 50% of the population lives just around the city of New York, leaving this large swath of Upper New York State with the other 50% of the population. 50% of Alaska's population lives within Anchorage and the Matanuska Valley. And for Hawaii, 50% of the state's population lives on the island of Oahu in Honolulu County. Fun map, I really like this one. So we've all heard sayings of like, Californians are ruining my town, or New Yorkers are ruining my town, New Jerseyans are ruining everything. So, this map is kind of a joke map, but it's telling us every state's least favorite state. And the data was collected by Instagram followers, so take that as you will. Overall, the most hated state seems to be California. Californians keep moving into these other western states and changing the culture of the towns and cities. And California dislikes Texas, and for some reason so does Alaska. New Mexico also dislikes Texas, but we already knew this rivalry between Oklahoma and Texas, so that's a given. They don't like Texas. Texas dislikes Oklahoma. Then you also got a lot of southern states that are hating on Alabama. And this should tell you something, but... <laughs> Floridians most hate Florida, so... yeah. Florida agrees with Georgia and Alabama in disliking themselves. It's the only state here that dislikes itself. Again, I know there's a lot of proud Floridians, so take this with a grain of salt. You also have Indiana and Tennessee both disliking Kentucky, and a lot of yellow states here that all dislike New Jersey. New Jersey is labeled as hates everyone. Fitting. The Catholic Church is split into dioceses across the United States, and this shows all the different dioceses across the U.S., as well as their headquarters. Never really see the U.S. split in this way, it's kind of interesting. It's also strange how so many of them follow state boundaries, while some of them don't follow state boundaries in any way. So, okay. Look how curvy Nebraska is here. And what's this tomfoolery in Colorado? Overall, really good map. This map shows us the proportion of electric vehicles in the United States, data as of 2021. So the West Coast here are early adopters of electric vehicles, but so is Texas and Florida. I'm honestly shocked that Massachusetts and New York make up less than 1% of electric vehicles in the United States. In 2021, 801,000 electric hybrids were sold and 434,000 battery electric vehicles were sold. In total, that equals about 1.2 million new electric cars sold in the US, with the majority being sent to California and Texas. 
InsureFi claims that these are the most sold vehicle in each state, and I know that's simply not true because the Impala isn't being made anymore. This is data from 2021. They also have some strange outliers like the Malibu, Toyota Corolla in Florida and Vermont, and that swath of Nissan Altimas in the south. The Civics also seem kind of strange on the west coast. I know they sell well, but the most? The only ones I don't question are the Ford F-150s and the Toyota Tacoma in Hawaii, which historically has sold well for the past 20 years. So you know what? I don't know how accurate this map is. And sure if I... I'm not too sure about you. But at the same time, if you're watching this, I'm open for sponsorship. Because gosh darn it, I love me some good insurance. Thanks for watching Map Musings. I'm the Muser, and those were the maps. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. We also have a Patreon which you can support. In the future, when we get Patreon supporters, they will be shown here. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day. Because gosh darn it, I love me some good insurance. Honk honk.